Hello again everyone, my name is Rebecca and I run the Curious Flea Vintage Store online on Etsy and on Instagram, here I am on YouTube, all of my links are down below in the description. Um, and today we're just going to have a closer look at the things that I picked up at the CM Car Boot Sale last week. Um, it's been a week since I bought all of these things. It's been a while since I put the video up. Um, my little guinea pig died on Saturday night and I normally film my videos on a Sunday and I just wasn't in the mood to do it last Sunday, so <laughs> I didn't. So here we are this week. Um, honestly, I've forgotten what I paid for everything, but you will have hopefully seen the video last week where I picked these things up at the car boot sale, so you'll know. And I've done my little bit of research as usual on my piece of paper. And so we can have a closer look at what I picked up and hopefully fingers crossed what things should sell for. So let's get into it now. First few things I'm going to show you are a couple of really cute jewellery things. I've been buying a few more bits of jewellery again at the moment um, but I am being a bit more picky now that I know a little bit more about the things that may sell a bit better than others. Whereas before when I first started this I was just buying anything that looked a little bit old. I was like ooh vintage jewellery let's buy it and I've still got loads of it. I've got all those little drawers down there full of it. I've got about three boxes full of it that are all listed that haven't sold yet. So one day I'm going to just go through some of that that's stuck around for years and just bundle it into job lots and just get rid of it I think. Might have to have a little bit of a purge. But I picked up some really cute pieces and these are both in their original boxes. So the first one is this super cute. It's a little brooch, it's Camelot. It says gold plated on the little label. It's like the metallic roses. It's really cute, it's just a little brooch. I don't think I paid much, I think maybe 50 pence to a pound for that. And should get between 15 to 20 pounds. It's helped by the fact that it's in the box and it literally looks like it's never ever been out of the box. The box is in such good condition. So that's a really nice start and that'll look absolutely gorgeous in the photographs as well. Next is these. I think this might have been 50 pence. Matthias, these are beautiful clip-on earrings and I'll show you up close. I like the Damascene Spanish focus. Got the pearl in the middle and like the Damascene pattern in there. Really pretty. I don't know if it'll focus. My phone doesn't like to focus on things, it just likes to focus on me. <laughs> now you get the idea. You get the idea. Anyway, they're really, really pretty. So again, I should hope to get 15 to 20 pounds for those because they are in their box. Really pretty. They're a nice high quality thing. I think they're real pearls in the middle as well, which is fabulous. I think I spent about 15 pound-ish altogether on everything that I got today. So even if I sell one or two of those things, I should be in the profit, which is fabulous. And that's what we like to do. Next up to show you is these really cute little salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I love blue and white things. Got the windmill, proper. I was going to say Hollandish. I don't think Hollandish is a word, but it is now. The little Dutch windmills. The blue and white ceramics will always sell really well and people are buying stuff for their Christmas tables. So a lot of these kitchenware, dining bits and pieces are selling really well. I've got quite a few bits of dining stuff. I've got some placemats right up the top there that I need to get listed. I think I've got some tablecloths and stuff. So I'm going to do that this week as well because I have noticed more kitcheny things are selling. So people must be planning for their Christmas tables. But um, those salt and pepper shakers should go for around 15 pounds, hopefully. I picked up these just because they were super cheap and I was like, I don't know what they are, but maybe I'll find out. Um, and they're worthless basically because they're missing some pieces. So you can see they've got the two gaps there and it would have had like three or four arches. It's basically would have been a toast rack. So I've basically just got two toast rack bases, which are completely useless, but we live and we learn. Next up, I got some really lovely celluloid handle knives. I think they're fish knives, maybe? Beautiful. So, 
two slightly different designs and two makers. Let me see if I can find the different ones. They look very, very similar. Yep. Yeah. So there's these ones and these ones. So I've got three of each. And one lot of the three is made by, I'll just consult my notes, Walker and Hall Sheffield. And the other three are by William Yates. And they were made in around 1910. So these are 110 years old. They are tarnished, but I do find, but they're all hallmarked. And you do find that the celluloid handles are quite popular. So again, with Christmas coming up, people are looking to buy vintage things for their table. And even just generally throughout the year, I do find that little bits and pieces of cutlery sell well if people are trying to complete sets, if they've inherited a set of knives or forks and they're missing a couple, people do pick them up on eBay. So I'm really not sure what a list these are. I'm going to aim high at the moment, just with Christmas coming up. And I'll maybe, I don't know whether I put them together as a set of six with them being two different makers or to split them I think I'll just pop them together because you really could not tell the difference unless you were looking super close it's only minimal difference in the design so I maybe I don't know I might go for maybe 20 25 and see where we'll go I can always drop the price if they don't sell but I just love them I think they're amazing I got a couple of books this one isn't worth very much but it's just unusual cowdrey it's early history but i think cowdrey is like a big like downton abbey <laughs> it's like a big house oh the cover's falling off or oh, fallen off it has fallen it's just all about the house people who lived in it the ruins it's got pictures in it's not worth a lot but i didn't pay very much um so it was nice to rescue this anyway. Um, there's one listed for a fiver, so maybe maybe I'll just go four, three, just get rid of it, get it a nice new house. It'll go as a large letter, so it'll be nice and cheap, cheap, nice and cheap to ship, which is good. I also picked up this just because I thought the cover was beautiful. It's really rich, but it's gorgeous. It's a um, Bond Street book, and it's from 1956. Um, there's not a lot of these listed. It's inscribed to Jean from Marjorie, 12th of May, 1956. It's got a price £2, I'll have to rub that out. Um, I don't think I paid £2, I think I might have paid like 50 pence or something. Um, it smells old. It's not in the best condition on the cover, but the inside's great. It's all about the streets, that used, the uh, shops that used to be on Bond Street. So it's got all of their original advertisings and things like that. Really cute. So yeah, there's not a lot of these listed. I'm gonna go maybe 20, 20 to 30 pounds on this and see where we're at. This would look beautiful on someone's coffee table, even though the paper is ripped. You can just take that off and have the hardback if you like, but I love it. And I spotted this straight away on a stall. It's just so eye-catching. It's like a foiled picture. It's of a scene from a I think it's a scene from one of the royal ballets it's gorgeous it's proper metallic i don't know if you can make that out it's got the string on the back so it doesn't need to be framed or anything it's on like cardboard um it is a little bit water damaged and scratched but it's so unusual the only thing i can find with a similar picture is in a compact mirror People have got like a foiled design in a compact mirror and they seem to sell for around £30. I can't find anything like this at all. So if I can't find one, I'm going to aim high. I'm going to go £40 on this. I think it's a beautiful. If it doesn't sell, we'll lower the price. But I'm going to aim high. The next thing, it is a, it's like a 3D, I think they call them shadow boxes. It's lovely. Let's see the which way is up. This way is up, I think. It's like a 3D picture. They're like really dainty ceramic flowers. Unfortunately, a bit has chipped off and it's in the bottom there, but when it's on the wall, you wouldn't see it at all because it's gonna just be hidden by this lace. It's unfortunate. I think I might have knocked it when it was in the bag or in the car, um, but never mind. Um, I should still hope to get around 25 to 30 pounds for that. 
it's really unusual and they are quite popular these chunky shadow box type thingy bobs or better get on a creepy granny eh take me home country roads if you've ever seen anything more sinister in your whole life Someone should have bought this for Halloween, actually. I'm, I'm gonna get listed this week. It's creepy granny, she's got a baby. She's a bit dirty. Made in Hong Kong on the base. And take me home country roads. Look at that. It's the stuff of nightmares. Anyway, um, there's, a, <laughs> there's a couple of these listed. Not this exact one. Um, there's a few designs of creepy grannies who knew why i don't know um just because you're so unusual i, I might just go 20 quid and see what happens oh, if i can get a video uploaded into the description i might do that and see if i can try and move her on because she freaks me out quite honestly but that's creepy granny i love an oriental vase and they tend to sell quite quick. This is a really chunky one. And I know when this sells, I'm going to be like, oh God, I'm going to have to pack this now. But never mind. I think I should get a decent price. I'm going to aim somewhere between 30 and 40 pounds for this just because it's massive. It's got like the raised dot, dotty design. I'm sure there's a word for it, but it's gone out of my head. Geishas. It's a really nice condition. It's not chipped or anything. Made in China on the base. So yeah. We'll go 30 to 40 on that. I love the dark green colour as well. It's really nice. I love a little box. This is really beautiful. It's in really great condition. It's abalone inlaid into lacquer. These sell for around 20 to 25 pounds, which is fabulous. I do love a little box. Oh, there you are. Inception. He's sitting on Oscar Wilde, by the way. And, uh, Dictionary of Gynecology. Wow, you lucky things. <laughs> I think this was the first thing I picked up. It's gorgeous. Again, I think it's the Damascene hinged bangle. It's got the safety chain. I do love a bangle with a safety chain. It just indicates to me a slight bit more quality. If it's got a safety chain, it implies that someone doesn't want to lose it. So I do think a safety chain is a good feature when you're trying to sell. It's like birds, birds and flowers. It's really cute. I should get around 25 pounds for that with some really nice photos. I've got some Harry Potters on the desk here, which I think I picked up with these things. I'm pretty sure I did. I'll show you them anyway. I just got the paperback and I got a hardback as well. Prisoner of Azkaban. I think someone in the comments told me I should get 20 pounds for this on its own. So I don't know. I'll have a look into that um, because it's a Bloomsbury one. Yes, it is. Um, so I'll have a look at maybe listing this on its own. If not, I'll just try and save it up. I've got a hardback of Goblet of Fire, I think. Uh, no, Deathly Hallows. I've got a hardback Deathly Hallows. So I've got two out of the set so far. So um, I don't know. I'll keep it a bit longer and see if I can find some more hardbacks to complete the set because I really like to complete the full set of Harry Potter and then sell it on. I don't like selling them individually. And this one I'll just add to the collection. Apologies if I've showed you these before. They were just on the desk, so I presume they came from this hall. I've got a memory of a fish. It's because I've got so much stuff. I'm surrounded by tat. The next bits are wallpaper. I think I paid a pound for the three of them. Um, one of them's quite good. It's just how popular a single roll of wallpaper may or may not be. I am not really sure. This is a vintage Dawn's Lima wallpaper. I'm sure this is on Amazon. Um, this should go for around 15 to 20 pounds. I might try and undercut everyone else and just get rid of it for a tenner because I didn't pay very much for it. If it sticks around, I'll use it as void fill. <laughs> This one is the cheapest out of the lot, Little Stars. 
it's got a sale tag on of 2 99 this probably only sells for a fiver so I might just use this as void fill because I just can't be bothered to pack and ship that for a fiver really and this is the best of the bunch Jane Churchill roll of wallpaper um let's have a look Alba wallpapers it is Celia Stripe in blue these will have been originally £50-ish a roll so I'll get this on even if I can get 20 quid for that I think that's fab for about 30 pence investment so hopefully this one will sell the other two will hopefully sell but if they don't I'll just use them as void fill next up is this lamp I think I paid 10 pence for it I'm scared of it <laughs> I just bought it because it was 10 pence. In reality, am I ever going to test this? No, because I'm scared to blow up my house. Am I ever going to rewire it? No, because I'm scared to blow up my house and myself. So I may just list it as is. It's I think it's alabaster. It's a really nice piece. If I could be bothered, I would test it at least. Maybe I can find some poor victim's house to test it with. No, I shouldn't do that. Um, it looks okay, to be fair. I might be brave, put a lamp in it, and it'll just trip my, it'll just trip my electric box. Worst, <laughs> worst comes to worst, eh? If I don't ever come back, you know what's happened. I've blown myself up with a ten pence lamp. Hey. Anyway, if this was working, I could get twenty pound ish in the condition it's in maybe a tenner so i am as i say in two minds whether to just list it as a tenner untested as is or whether i maybe put a little bit of effort in pop a bulb in and see if it works if i'm i might have a cute little lampshade or i can just find one at the car boot sale because you'll see them everywhere really cheap if i can get a cute little lampshade on i could maybe push my luck for 30 to 40. so i'll probably put it on my shelves there for a while until i get round to it but I can't say no to stuff like this for 10 pence really, can I? It would be criminal. Now these last things are my favourite things. You probably saw them. I talked about them at the end of the video. Hold on, I've got this little man here as well. Who is this guy? I haven't written about this guy in my notes. <laughs> he looks like one bookend, I think. He's not very heavy though, so maybe he's just an ornament. He is cute. Lovely carved man reading a book. So, I don't appear to have done any research on this guy, but I think, I don't know, I'm going to go 15, he's a really cute, people love reading, he'd look gorgeous on someone's bookshelf. So yeah, why not, 15 pounds, apologies, I haven't done any research on this poor man. Anyway, the candlesticks. These two candlesticks are my favourite pickup of the day, these are reclaimed wood from a church. A local church in Witten Gilbert in the northeast and they're really gorgeous they've got like velvety felt bottoms and on the base it says these bases are from Sacriston, Sacriston Chapel now gone the stalks are from Witten Gilbert Methodist Chapel all the wood is from the pews these are holy question mark Hey, I think they are holy because they've been keeping creepy junk. Creep <laughs> what on earth am I trying to say? Because they've been keeping creepy grandma in check. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. So these are they're so well made. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love. You can just see. Oh, it's beautiful. These will look fab on someone's Christmas table or either side of their mantelpiece. They're a canny size. <laughs> They're a canny size as well, um, so <laughs> I'm going to aim really high for these because they're handmade, they're reclaimed wood from a chapel, they've got their gorgeous little note, it tells you who made them, where they came from, there may be someone who, you know, had a connection to the chapel who will snap these up. I'm going to go, I'm going to go £75 and see how it goes, I think they are fabulous and they're holy and they must be holy because creepy grandma has been behaving herself in their presence creepy grandma is looking at me she's gonna put the candlestick in front of her face okay that's everything i think um 
sorry again that I couldn't really remember what I'd paid for everything. As I say, my poor little guinea pig Margaret died last Saturday, so I just didn't really want to film on Sunday. Um, so that's it for this week's video. If you would like to say anything in the comments, please do. If you've got any extra information on any of these things, it's always much appreciated if you could comment down below. Um, people are really helpful and people have a lot more knowledge than me. So you can also just check out the comment section down below because people are very, very smart. And yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, I think the next video will be a another What Sold video. I've also got some charity shop footage and I'll go through what I picked up at the charity shops. That was from Ripon. And they've got loads of charity shops in Ripon, by the way, if you want to go there. And today I've been to another car boot at Team Valley in Gateshead. So I've got that footage and then I've got another haul to do. So there's plenty of videos coming up as well there is in my description down below a link to my instagram if you click on that and there's a little link at the top which is my link tree you can click through there into my etsy shop and if you do that you get 10 percent discount off anything you may fancy so have a look in there if there's anything you want if you think oh my gosh you've priced that way too high just give me a message and we can work out a deal so if there's anything that you've seen today that you would love, just send me a message. I should all get them listed this week. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. I've rambled again. Apologies. See you next time.